Hello, and welcome to Storyboard That. My name is Eric, and today I am going to show you how to make a blank page worksheet using one of Storyboard That's pre-made templates. So we only have two options here. We have a portrait and a landscape template, but that's all we really need when we're starting from scratch. So let's get started. Now I'm gonna go with the portrait one, so I'm just gonna click the copy template button that's right below. And this will bring us directly into the Storyboard creator, which will then prompt us to give our storyboard a name. Now you can call yours whatever you would like. I'm just gonna call mine template one and click continue. All right, now it's time for us to customize and build our worksheet. This is where you get to add characters, items, texts, whatever it is that we want to do. Now it can be a little daunting to start completely from scratch. So it's a good idea to start with a theme in mind. So for my worksheet, I think I'm gonna make it about the ocean. So let's get started. Now I am going to add a scene in first. Now we are already in the scenes menu. And if I go over to outdoors, I should be able to find a nice scene that has the ocean in it. So let's just scroll through. All right, I think this looks good. We have a nice coral reef here. So just drag and drop your scene into the storyboard. And there we go. Now, if we go to our right hand menu, we can click this button, stretch to fill. And this will allow us a couple options on how to fill our scene inside the frame. So let's click crop to fill. That way nothing gets warped and it fills the entire frame. When you're all set, just click OK, and there we go. Now this is blocking those few text boxes that do come with our blank template. So let's send this to the back. So with your item selected, just go over here and click send all the way to the back. All right, great. Now a lot of your scenes can be edited. So just click on your scene and go to edit scene. Let's see what options we have. So we can make it nighttime, but I'd like to be a little bit brighter and we can turn the fish off. Let's take them out so we can have a little bit more room to add text boxes in. And you can also change colors, which is pretty nice. But I do like these pre-selected ones, so let's go back. Now when you're all done, just click Update Scene, and there we go. All right, now next we are going to go over text boxes. Now you can edit any of the pre-existing text boxes that come in your template. So we have a nice title here, we have our header and some directions. So let's give this a title. We're gonna call this Ocean Worksheet. having a hard time spelling today. All right, so now we have our title here and I'd like to change the font as well as its size and maybe even the color. Now we can do all that with our text editor. So all you have to do is highlight what you would like to change, go to your text editor and first let's select a new font. So I think that font is fine, but we can find something that feels a little bit more flowy, kind of like the ocean and how water moves. All right, perfect, lobster two, it's very on theme. Now that's really small, so let's make this much bigger. So back in our text editor, let's change the font size from 24. Let's go with 60. All right, I think that looks pretty good, but this black text is a little hard to read on our blue ocean watercolor. So highlight the text you wanna change again, go back to your text editor, and in this drop down menu, if you stay on the right side, you can change the color of the text. So let's go with white. All right, I think that looks pretty good. Now, if you wanna add additional text boxes, all you have to do is go up to your speech bubbles and go through all of these great options. Now I'm gonna add in a nice big block here, but I don't need this directions text box here. So let's delete it. So delete something, just select your item, go over to your right hand menu and click delete. There we go. Now let's add in something else. So I'm gonna go into decorative and I'm gonna grab this one. I like this, it's nice and simple and it's a solid color. So we won't have any extra imagery in the background so we can see what we want to write pretty clearly. So to put your care, put your text box in, let's resize it. Now you can move text boxes uh, as well as resize them. Just drag them wherever you would like in your storyboard. And to change the size, just drag the corner of the image. There we go. Now with this text box, you'll see these little gray buttons in the center on all sides. That lets you know you can actually stretch this so let's stretch this out. All right, I think that looks pretty good. Let's center it a little bit more. And let's put in some extra information here. So we'll just say a story about the ocean. A Little hard to read with this text that's so small. So I'm not sure if I have any spelling errors. So let's highlight this all and change its size. Let's make it 60 as well. All right, that looks pretty good. But let's change it back to this font. That was Lobster 2. So just go to our text editor, find that font again. 
And there we go. Now I think this looks pretty good, but let's change the color of this text box. So we have our pre-selected colors here on the right hand menu. So I'm going to change the border to this blue. And I'd like this white to be a light blue. But we don't have a light blue option here, so let's make it. So I'm going to select this blue to start, and if we go to this box on the right, we can actually customize the color to whatever we would like it to be. So let's change this to a light blue, and when you're all set, just click Choose. All right, that looks pretty good. Now, next is Characters. Now, if you go up to your Characters menu, we have all of these great categories to choose from. So I'm going to go into Adults, and I'd like to find somebody swimming in the water, maybe an oceanographer who's studying the coral reef. Now, we could scroll through all of these characters and spend a lot of time looking for the character who's just right, or we can go up to our Filters option here and narrow down the search. So let's go into characters who are just wearing swimsuits, and there we go. That narrows it down a lot. So let's grab this character. Now, to add a character, just like your text boxes or your scene, just simply drag and drop them into your storyboard, and now we get to customize. This is where we get to update facial expressions, poses, change color, whatever it is we would like to do. So I'm going to have my character swimming. But first, I'm just going to set in some poses here. So when your character's all set, click the update pose, and there's our character. Now, just like our text boxes, we can move our character anywhere we would like in our storyboard and resize them as well. Just drag the corner of the image. Let's make them a little bit bigger and we are all set. Now, last but not least is items. Now, you can browse the items menu up top here, go through all these great categories, but if there's something specific that you want, you can always search for it in the upper right-hand search menu. Now, our character is just here swimming without any gear, so let's give them some snorkels. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, if we just search snorkel, we have some snorkels. All right, great. So, let's grab this option, just drag and drop, and that's a little too small, so let's make that a bit bigger. So we're going to stretch this out until it fits just right. That looks pretty good. All right, now I'd like my character to be swimming in the water. So I'd like to move them around and rotate them. But before I do that, I'd like to group our character and our snorkel together, so that way they move together. So I don't have to move everything individually one by one. So with your snorkel selected, just select the character as well. Just hold shift and select and click group in your right hand menu. All right, and now they're grouped together. This means that wherever we move them, they will always be locked in in the same place. And to rotate your character, just go to the top of your item selected and there's a little button right above everyone and just drag and turn. All right, that looks pretty good. So let's reposition him so he looks like he's swimming through the water. All right, now when you're all done making the changes to your worksheet, all you have to do is click the orange Save and Exit button that's in the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. And that is how you build a blank worksheet using Storyboard That. Thanks for watching, and happy storyboarding.